Cargo transportation is still being affected in our area as longer lines continue to be seen at ports of entry. The Bridge of the Americas resumed operations for commercial traffic this week, but this has not solved the issue. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Heriberto Perez joins us live in the studio with the story. Well, Paul, Stephanie, it's been three weeks since commercial vehicle lines started to increase and wait times were of more than 15 hours. This morning, I noticed a line of almost five miles of trucks trying to cross through the bridge of the Americas. Take a look at this video. While I was driving to El Paso from Juarez, I saw this line of trucks by the Cuatro Siglos Boulevard to the bridge of the Americas. You can see the miles long line cargo drivers have been doing for the last couple of weeks. The vice president of the National Chamber of Cargo Transportation in Mexico said, since the Texas Department of Public Safety started conducting secondary inspections at the Isleta Bridge, from the 2,700 daily exports, it decreased to 600 per day. 2,100 less exports only at the Isleta port of entry. Este cerca del gobernador de Texas le diga que nos abra poquito la posibilidad de cruzar. Vice President Sotelo said they asked Texas Governor Greg Abbott to give them the chance to cross and to take away secondary inspections at ports of entry. On Wednesday, cargo leaders in Juarez were also hoping to not have secondary inspections at the Bridge of the Americas, but they did start it, and on Thursday, it's when longer lines were seen. In a statement, a spokesman with the Texas Department of Public Safety told me, quote, for security reasons, the department does not discuss operational specifics, but we hope that the enhanced commercial vehicle safety inspections at these ports of entry deter the placement of migrants and other smuggling activity along our southern border while also increasing the safety of our roadways, end quote. Guys, Vice President Sotelo also said businesses and cargo businesses in Juarez have been losing around 400,000 U.S. dollars daily since September 18, a total of $7,006,000 in the last three weeks. They don't know when this situation will be fixed. Back to you. Okay, Eddie, thank you.